From Washington, this is VOA News. I'm Steve Norman reporting. Belgium prosecutors say police in Brussels arrested 16 suspects in terror raids Sunday, but they say top Paris massacre suspect Salah Abdeslam was not among those detained. Abdeslam, thought to have crossed into Belgium on November 14th, just hours after Islamic State gunmen killed 130 people, wounded hundreds of others in coordinated attacks in Paris, for which the Islamic State claimed responsibility. Meantime, Brussels' subway system and its schools remain closed today, and the city is under highest threat alert. European Commission President Donald Tusk spoke with reporters about the Islamic State threat. I deeply believe that terrorists will not intimidate us, and uh, because, in fact, freedom and solidarity is much stronger than fear and and violence. It's also our political obligation to be together against this dramatic challenge. Maybe the biggest one in our in our times. As part of U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry's agenda on his current trip to the Middle East is the crisis in Syria, including the civil war plus the efforts by the Islamic State to carve out a caliphate in part of the country. Secretary Kerry is in the United Arab Emirates today. Malian authorities are continuing their search for at least three suspects they believe are connected to Friday's deadly jihadist attacks on the Radisson Blue Hotel that's in the capital, Bamako. Nineteen people died. A representative from northern Mali separatist group said the assault on the hotel was an attempt to derail its fragile peace accord signed in June with the Bamako government. This is VOA News.